So I've been working on Headmounted Displays for a long time. I created the Oculus Rift when I was 19 years old, living in a camper trailer in my garage. And that was really the virtual reality headset that changed the industry, sold that company for billions of dollars. And now that I'm working in the national security space, I've continued to believe that virtual reality, augmented reality is gonna be a critical part of our military. So the ability to have night vision, thermal vision, but also the ability to see where all the bad guys are, see where all the good guys are, by fusing everyone's view together. Think of it almost like a hive mind. If I'm able to see something, you should be able to see it. If a drone can see it, you should be able to see it. Even if it's on the other side of a building, you should be able to see it and effectively have X-ray vision. And I should be able to command and control all these other systems using this heads-up display interface. It's none, of, none, none of what I'm saying sounds that crazy, right? It just sounds like any science fiction film. These are ideas that have been around for a hundred years, but only very recently has it become possible. So. This is a new product that we just announced at the Army's conference yesterday. We've been working on it for years, using our own money. No taxpayer dollars were used to create it. Um, it's called Eagle Eye. And it is an integrated ballistics shell. So you've got a helmet, um, you've got hearing protection, you've got thermal sensors, night sensors, uh, uh, signals intelligence sensors that allow you to detect where cell phones are, where radios are, see that in your view. It even detects where gunshots are, shows them exactly where they're placed and how far they are. It can see where every enemy is, it can see where all of my buddies are, it can see. So like there's a, there's a view that's coming up here where you're gonna notice a drone picks up a guy behind that container over there. And what's gonna happen is when he walks behind that container, I'm able to continue to see where he is and what he's doing.